Okay, hello everybody. Hello, 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 and welcome. How's everybody doing today? Oops, I have an extra light on in my office. Let me turn it off. I just realized it was on. <clears throat> there we go. I was like, why does it look more uh, brighter in here than it usually does? <laughs> welcome everyone. How you doing? Hopefully the answer is, I am doing very well, Phil. And if the answer is not that you're doing very well, hopefully today we will be able to cheer you up a little bit here on one of two gameplay streams. I will be doing two streams today. Um, to return back to normal form. Um, today is Saturday, uh, September 9th, 2017. Hello, hello. How you doing? I'm Phil, of course. And uh, this first gameplay stream today will be the continuation of Destiny 2. I'm actually approaching the end of the story. It's funny because I think I tweeted yesterday that I'm nearing the end game and people were like, the end game? Isn't the end game once you grind for 14 weeks to, 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 to participate in the final raid and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, that's not what I meant. I meant the end game of like the story. <laughs> I didn't mean that, th that there's nothing left to do in the game. I meant, you know, completing the story, at least the narrative of the game. <clears throat> because yesterday, what I focused on was trying to raise my levels to the point where I'd be able to continue on with the story because the story wanted me to be level 15 and I was only level 13. So yesterday I participated in two raids. Not excuse me. I misspoke. Two strikes, what I meant to say, which were kind of interesting. Um, it was cool to have like a big boss at the end of a big, uh, you know, dungeon or area. And one of them was actually completely unique. One that I'd never been in before, which was nice. <clears throat> and I also did some of the, uh, patrols. And then I actually ended up doing, uh, the story, a story mission too, finally, at the end of the, uh, game. Excuse me, the end of the stream. And so, it was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun yesterday. Um, today, I'll be looking to focus, hopefully, solely on the, the story. I want to kind of wrap it up if I can. Um, <clears throat> hit level 20. And when I hit level 20, uh, that's the max level. You can't go above level 20. But then I'll be focusing on trying to do high-level events so that I can get legendary loot because I need legendary loot in order to up my light level, as they call it, in this game. Um, I believe in order to participate in the raids coming next week, you have to be light level 260, I believe is what I was told. And right now, I think I'm like, I'm like 170 or 180. I'm not positive what I'm at. I'm around there, but I mean, I haven't even beaten the game yet. I'm not level 20 yet. And obviously, I only have two pieces of legendary gear, so I'll definitely be looking to do that. And then in, in addition, um... In addition, the other thing is that I will be looking to unlock my other subclass, which is a passive thing. It actually happens as you're just playing the game. You raise the experience level of an item that you found. <clears throat> and it is leveling up. I think as of yesterday when the stream uh, ended, I was at like 68%. So naturally, over the course of today, as I do other things in the game, it should max out. And then eventually, I'll go do that solo mission and unlock my third subclass. <clears throat> So that'll be cool. That's basically will be everything left to do would be, you know, finish the story, unlock the subclass, try to do high level events that pop up around, you know, the worlds in order to get legendary loot and raise my, my light level to prepare for the raids next week. That's kind of my focus for today and for the next, you know, couple sessions that I'll play Destiny here trying to prepare for that. Okay. Um, so that's today's stream. <clears throat> uh, later tonight will be another stream of Knack 2. Uh, I'm honestly not sure how far along I am in that game. I believe I'm in World 7. But I don't know... I, people, someone told me there were 15 worlds, which would be, I'd be like, if that's true, that's insane. Because I've already played Knack 2 now for, let's see, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7... 7 hours. And today will be 9... Right? And this is only a $40 game, by the way. It's not a full price release. It's only $40. If this game has 15 worlds and is like 20 hours long, that's going to be nuts. <clears throat> I mean, talk about bang for your buck. <clears throat> but I don't know if that's the case. It might That may all be baloney. Malarkey. I don't know yet.
Okay. <clears throat> so. That's today. Destiny and Knack 2. Tomorrow, ladies and gentlemen, the question has been answered. The burning question on all of your minds all week long. Will Phil still be getting salty on Sundays? I've decided that at least for this particular Sunday, I will. Because I want to break up the week. This whole week has mostly been Knack and Destiny 2. And I know that some people, after several days of the same thing, over and over and over, you get bored of it, right? <clears throat> I get that. I totally get that. Um. So, tomorrow will be Salty Street Fighter 2 Sundays returning. Yes, I will be doing a Salty Sunday session tomorrow. Um. As I've been doing the past few months. Now, I'm just going to be upfront with all of you. It's probably not going to continue uh, for much longer, if even if this is not the last week. Reason being, next weekend uh, on Friday is the Dishonored Death to the Out Outsider uh, standalone expansion for Dishonored 2. <clears throat> so that'll already be something new that I'll be playing. Um... And then the week after that is Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite, which obviously is going to already be another fighting game. All right. So I really doubt that I'm going to be doing two fighting games at once. You know what I mean? Um, so we'll see. We'll see how stuff goes. But I think this may be the final Salty Sunday for a bit. And then maybe it, you know, when I finally get another slower week, I'll return to the Salty Sunday sessions. Excuse me. Just that right now, I know it's probably the last opportunity I have to squeeze one in. Because you got to consider that, um... You got to consider that pretty soon... I mean, well, right now, I'm playing Destiny 2. I'm playing Knack 2. I'm playing Marvel vs. Capcom Rabbids. Eventually, I'm going to get back to Yakuza Kiwami, although that's pretty much on indefinite hold at this point. And the patrons are currently voting for the Patrons' Choice playthrough. Which... Within a week here, we're going to determine what that game is. And I'm going to be honest here, people never listen to me. Everyone seemed to have voted for Super Mario Sunshine. I don't know why. Because I literally said in the poll, I said, listen, you guys nominated Super Mario Sunshine. I understand that, but you have to understand something. I'm playing Mario plus Rabbids now. At the end of October, I'll be playing Mario Odyssey. So maybe right now is not a good idea for Super Mario Sunshine, especially considering... I may not finish the game in time for Mario Odyssey and you'll have two Mario games overlapping and it would be really not make any sense. Yeah, everyone still voted for Super Mario Sunshine. Like, they don't read me at all. They seriously, they don't read my messages. They ignore me. The same thing happened with Danganronpa. I said, I just finished Danganronpa 1. Danganronpa 3 is coming up soon. Maybe this isn't the appropriate time to do Danganronpa 2 and everyone voted for Danganronpa 2. And I just kind of scratched my head like, oh my god. <clears throat> I swear no one listens to me. <laughs> no one listens to me. Ugh. I don't know, man. I mean, I'm trying to just, like, do the logical thing. That makes sense. Because I know it's going to happen. I'm going to start playing Mar Super Mario Sunshine. Everyone will be hyped for, like, a day or two. Then, as usual, it'll tra with every Nintendo game, the interest will trail off. Yet, I'll be stuck playing this long-ass... Nintendo game that I can't even monetize because Nintendo steals all the ad revenue. So, not only will I be playing a game I can't make any money on, then, at the end of October, there's another one I can't make money on, and I'm going to have to put the first one on hold to play the second one. <laughs> it's going to be the stupidest thing ever. But I don't know why people don't listen to me. Like, it's so frustrating. It really is. It's like, I understand... I totally understand that people might want to see a game that's good, but why would you want it right before another game in the same franchise that's good and during a playthrough of the same character? Ah! I don't know, man. I just don't know. I don't get it. But then again, I'm not the voters, right? I'm not. I'm not voting on it. The patrons are, so... So we'll see what happens. There's still time. It's the 9th, and I believe I'm going to try to close that poll off by mid-month. So probably, like, not this, uh, obviously not this weekend, but maybe next weekend I'll close off that poll. <laughs> Plus, 
some people have not had an opportunity to vote yet at all. Um, because there were some patrons who were from the month of August and they have not been upgraded yet. They sent me their info, but I'm going to send that to my webmaster tomorrow and he's going to upgrade them. So there may be another influx of voters, um, in this week that are going to go in there and vote. So, so I guess we'll see now Majin Buu. I'm sorry. He says, he li Phil literally is not thinking in the game, the gamer's mindset. He's thinking like a businessman. No, I am. I'm thinking of a viewer's mindset. If you're a viewer, do you want to see Mario plus Rabbids, then Mario Sunshine, then see Mario Sunshine go on hold for Mario Odyssey, only to hope that eventually I'll get back to Mario Sunshine? Or would you like to see one good Mario game now... And then have maybe a couple months away from Mario and then go back to Mario later when it makes sense. You're not going to want it. You're, you're going to lose so much interest seeing Mario, 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 Mario. It's like watching the Super Mario Brothers movie. You got Mario, Mario, and you got Luigi, Mario. It's too much goddamn Mario. <clears throat> Did you guys freaking hear Nintendo came out and said Mario is no longer a plumber? Because, you know, Nintendo is so in line with the original character designs and everything, I'm sure they really fucking know what the fuck they're talking about. <laughs> Mario's no longer a plumber. Of course. Idiots. <laughs> fucking... If, if you don't understand how out of touch Nintendo is anymore with even their own products, they said their mascot, who is a plumber, is not a plumber. So, if that doesn't prove... They don't know what the fuck they're doing. I don't know what does. <laughs> Unbelievable. But anyway. <clears throat> Good lord. Anyway, folks. <laughs> I digress. So anyway, that's what's going on with the patron stuff. Um, but yeah. So this is going to be a very busy month. September. And being that, saying, you know, getting back to the point here, I don't think I'm going to be able to be doing those Salty Sunday Street Fighter streams. In particular, once I start playing MVC Infinite, right, you know fighting games take a long time to cover. By playing all the various characters, doing the online <clears throat> uh, matches and everything, it takes quite a long time to cover a fighting game. So I doubt, anytime that I would have played Street Fighter 2, I'll probably be playing MVC Infinite for a while, so. All right. So what else do I have to talk about? First of all, I want to say shout out to all of my viewers and fans who live in Florida and good luck. Hurricane Irma is about to hit. I believe it's either supposed to hit later today or tomorrow. I'm not positive on that. <clears throat> but I do certainly wish you all the best. Um... It looks like it's going to be a pretty devastating one. People are saying... Well, it's funny because they were saying it was like the, the biggest and strongest storm ever. And now it's already been downgraded to a Category 3. I think we should just, at this point, understand that weather people cannot actually predict the weather. I mean, let's face it. They can observe, but they're terrible at predicting it. They're never right. Um, now, this doesn't mean that Irma's not going to devastate Florida. It still is, but... You, you know, a couple days ago, they were saying it was going to be a Category 5 when it hit land. And it was going to, like, rip buildings up and throw them into the air like fucking Wizard of Oz. <laughs> you know? And now it's like, uh, okay, well now it's only a Category 3, but it's still dangerous. I don't know. All I know is, it's going to be dangerous, alright? It's going to be dangerous, folks. And, please be safe. Please heed the warnings of everyone, your government... There's always these people, no matter what they're told, they don't want to believe it, right? <clears throat> um, you know, there's chemical, toxic chemicals in your area, you should evacuate. There's a storm coming, you should evacuate. There's this happening, you should... No, I'm staying home. Should I board up my windows? No one told me to do anything yet. It's like, yes, at this point, you should be completely ready for this fucking storm. Um, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Are you, are you waiting for waves to come in your window to decide if you should board it up? Is that what it is? I, I don't just don't get some people. They're just procrastinators, I guess. Um. <clears throat> so please be safe. Protect your belongings. Protect your loved ones and yourselves. Do what's right. Get the fuck out of there. 
Um, it's like I've said, I've been to Florida a few times in my life. Every t and every time I've been there, it's it's been horrendous rain and hurricane-like weather. Every single time. No exaggeration, it's always been like that. Um, I could never live there. Like, for me, it's like, okay, it's a really inexpensive state to live in, that's nice. But to put up with the fucking horrendous weather you have to put up with to live there? Why would you live there? I don't know, that's just me. The thing is, I am fully aware, as someone who lived in Connecticut for most of his life, until just recently I moved out here to Washington, I'm fully aware there's people who cannot move. They want to. They're like, man, I really wish in my life situation right now, I could leave where I am right now and not be here because I know the weather's terrible and or anything else could be terrible, but you just can't. You don't have the means. I 1 million percent understand and empathize because I've been in that situation. I hated living in Connecticut. I fucking detested it. We get that most humid of humid of summers, nasty hurricane-like weather in the fall. Then you get ice and fucking snow, sleet. Just disgusting amounts of terrible weather in Connecticut. Taxes are sky fucking high. <sighs> Alright. Sky high. And just terrible. It's, there's, no, there's no reason to live in Connecticut. There's literally not a single reason. Unless you have a job there, there's no reason to live there. I was stuck there most of my life until finally I could get the fuck out. So I totally get it. Um... If you live in Florida or in, or any of these areas, right, who regularly have this horrendous weather and you just can't move, I get it, all right? So please be safe. Do what you need to do. Protect yourself. Protect your, your, your valuables and your loved ones. And uh, hopefully you come out the other end of this thing all right. <sighs> okay. So that's one thing I wanted to talk about. Um, as for Patreon, some people have been asking, did I set up the Patreon goal yet? No, because I just haven't had time, but I'm going to do it tomorrow night when I should have some free time to do it. And you know what, folks? Here's the deal. I already know what the next two Patreon goals are going to be. All right? I already figured it out. Oh, my head itches. <laughs> Actually, folks, I know three... Three different Patreon goals. I can tell you what the next three Patreon goals are going to be. I just can't tell you what particular order they're going to come in. All right. Are you ready? This month, I've decided I am going to redo the Halloween goal. The reason being is because I really would like to do a Halloween marathon. I love doing a Halloween marathon. I've done it two years in a row. And I know people want it. I just think that last month was a bad situation. Because number one, it was the summer. And you're not thinking about Halloween in the summer. Number two, because we had a horrible hurricane. A lot of people were thinking of donating to that. Number three, because everyone was focused on kind of helping me on Twitch. I just think it was like the perfect storm of shit. All right. So that's going to be the event for this month. If we hit the funding goal on Patreon, it's going to be the Halloween Marathon. I'm going to re-announce it this weekend formally. And then I'm going to start mentioning it every day on stream. So people understand what they're pledging for. So just to reiterate, folks... If you pledge five bucks or more to my Patreon this month and we hit the funding goal, which we're several hundred dollars away from hitting it, just to, to warn everyone, all right? But we can still hit it. Um, you're going to be able to nominate and vote on horror games for me to play during this Halloween Horror Marathon. And I'm, you're going to be able to vote on the kind of costume that I'll wear for Halloween, all right? It's a double goal. <clears throat> a double goal. It's a good one. I hope you'll pledge now that you know what it is, all right? Um, so there you have it. There it is. Now, the next two goals coming. I don't know what order they're going to come yet. And actually, it's not really in my control, but allow me to explain. One goal is going to be for a multiplayer event where patrons can exclusively play multiplayer games with me, all right? Oops. I'm trying to get my stream chat. My stream chat froze. Okay, there we go. It unfroze. Good. Good. All right, so, yes, the next one will be a multiplayer event. Now, what multiplayer games will be in the running for this event? Games such as, obviously, Destiny 2, which has a multiplayer component, right? That's one of them. Um, Call of Duty Black Ops. I said Black Ops. Fuck. Call of Duty World War II. That will be one of them. Um, 
Star Wars Battlefront 2, that will obviously be one of them. You know, the major multiplayer games coming out. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. And or any other major multiplayer games. For example, some people might still want to play Overwatch. I, I mean, at this point, I think Overwatch is pretty played out. I mean, I'm just saying. That's my opinion. Is that the game's really, I mean... Unless you're so hyper-focused on the competitive nature of the game. I, I You know, but for me... I kind of haven't played Overwatch in a million years, but maybe some people will want to play it. I don't know. So, there will be major multiplayer games by the end of this year, you know, to play. And so if I do that as a monthly goal, I get the feeling I'll get some people, you know, jumping in to pledge to that and ha make it happen. Because that happened. It worked last year. I think it'll happen again this year. Okay. And then, um... The other goal, and this one's kind of unique, and this one was actually suggested to me by a viewer, and I think this would be really good, but this one is really dependent on when something happens, so allow me to explain. <clears throat> People have been asking me to play Player Unknown's Battleground, right? I have not played it. Reason being, pretty much it's PC exclusive, and I can't play it. If I, if I play it, I can't capture it. I cannot play a game on my PC while capturing and streaming it. It just doesn't work. Okay? Um, that's just matter of fact. That's not me saying I don't want to play the game. I can't play it. All right? Now, apparently, it's coming out on Xbox One soon. And I'm like, well, I'm intrigued to see what this game is that absolutely everyone is talking about. And apparently, it's a huge game on Steam and everything. <clears throat> so... When it comes out on Xbox One, I would like to do maybe a marathon day where I play it all day. And that could be a Patreon goal. If we hit the goal, I'll set aside a day during the busy hardcore gaming season to play an entire day of Player Unknown's Battleground so I understand what the hell the game is. Kind of similar to how I didn't really understand what the hell Minecraft was all about. And then when I set it as a Patreon goal and we hit it, I played a marathon of it and I was like, wow, I kind of get it now. This kind of makes sense now, right? Now, the problem here is there's no date set for when this game is going to be coming out on Xbox One. Supposedly, they were saying it's by the end of the year, but they haven't given it a date. So, since there's no date, I can't say, oh, let's do this Patreon goal right now. Because, I honestly, I was considering doing it as September's goal. But then I found out there's no guaranteed date to when the game's out. So, I'm not going to do this as a Patreon goal, hit the goal, and then never be able to tell you when I'm doing the event. That would be stupid. Right? So, that's kind of what I want to do, is I want to um, be able to kind of, you know, promise you a goal and then be able to set a date. So, that is going to be a goal in the future. Um, I just need it to have the date of when the game's coming out, and then I can tell you whether it's going to be October's goal, or November's goal, or whatever. Until we know when it's coming out, I can't, do, I can't promise you that, alright? So we'll see. Let's see what happens. Um, but that's what I mean. So people are like, oh, Phil should do all these other goals. I'm like, yeah, that's nice, but I can't do the multiplayer goal now because the multiplayer games aren't out yet. And I can't do the Player Unknown Battleground goal because that game's not out yet. I have to do what's available. Right now, the most pertinent thing would be the Halloween goal. Okay? <laughs> so, please, folks, consider pledging to my Patreon by the end of this month. To make the Halloween goal happen, we have a good 21 days, so three weeks, to make it happen. And if people pledge, I know there's some people that last month pulled their pledges. There's a significant amount of people who lowered their pledges. If we can get people back here to get back to where we were, we can definitely hit the goal. All right? <clears throat> All right. And now, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, first of all, a few things to say regarding... um. Participation. I see a lot of people already have been cheering and subbing and everything. Give me a second, because I'm going to get to you to give your shout-outs. FYI, if you do cheer, sub, or tip me during the course of today's stream, I will give you a verbal shout-out. And if you cheer 50 bits or more, if you tip me $2 or more, or if you sub to the channel and click the share button, you also get that visual pop-up that you just saw. All right? Now, in addition, if you cheer with the hashtag charity, all right, you will be contributing to a giant goal that Twitch is right now trying to work towards of donating $200,000 to the Extra Life charity. 
it doesn't take away anything from your cheer. If you do a cheer with hashtag charity, I still get the bits. So it's not like you're taking away. I think there's a misconception. People are like, oh, so my bits just get donated? No, 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 no. I still get those bits, but Twitch is going to donate. Twitch is the one who's going to donate to the Extra Life charity based on how many people cheer in the next nine days, okay? <clears throat> so, please consider, folks. If you are going to cheer, please use the hashtag charity in your cheer. Cheers for charity, okay? Also, for the next uh, month, I think it's until October 2nd, if you've never been subbed to my channel or anyone's channel on Twitch before, new subscriptions are half price. So, and that's for any category, by the way, because there are $5, $10, and $25 subcategories. You can do any level, and it's half price right now if it's someone you're not currently subbed to. All right? So, if you've ever thought, gee, I'd maybe like to sub to Phil's channel. But, you know, I just can't afford it right now. Maybe now you can. All right? Just throwing that out there. That is something that's going on right now. Okay? All right. And then last but not least, folks. If you are considering participating in some way today, whether it be, you know, cheering, subbing, or tipping, because you're getting hyped for what's going on on stream, um, please consider tipping. If you have the option, please consider tipping. The reason I say that, right now things are tight for me financially. I'm trying to get through this month. I'm almost at to the point where I'm actually going to get my payment from Curse, which is good. Um, and I'm hoping that I can make ends meet, all right? If you tip me... That money I get right away versus if you cheer or sub, that I won't see for about two months, which is fine. I'm very appreciative of that because in come November, I'm going to need that support. But right now, tips are the best thing you can do for me, all right? So if you could, please tip me. And then basically, once we get to mid-October, I'm going to get paid for the really good August that I had here on stream and, you know, on YouTube. And therefore, it won't matter what you do come October, all right? If you, you come mid-October when I get my payments... You can cheer, sub, tip, do whatever. I won't even give a shit. <laughs> and I just like earlier this year, I was the same. Uh, it didn't matter. I, you know, it wasn't until August that I started mentioning this because I knew that this was coming up. This this really tough time for me financially. <laughs> but we have to get to mid October, right? To the time when I get paid for August in order to actually be in a good position. So please consider pledging if you have not. I didn't mean to say pledging. Please consider tipping. Uh, if you have the option of actually choosing, you know, if you're going to support me and how you're going to do it, that would help out tremendously, all right? All right, now it's time for some shout-outs, folks. Let's do some shout-outs. <clears throat> First of all, yet again, I got to say thank you to Golden Colt. He did cheer overnight again, and it's hard because my Muxy, which is the program I use to catch all of that data of who's cheering, subbing, and tipping... It doesn't catch stuff when, when I'm not streaming all the time. Sometimes it skips. So right now I know he cheered because I saw it in the stream chat earlier. But now it's not showing up in Muxy. Thank you, Golden Colts. I believe Golden Colts may actually be the cheerleader for the month. I'm not 100% on that, but I think he may be. Shout out to Game Master 2003 is dead. Who did 125-bit cheers at hashtag charity. Thank you, Game Master. Shout out to Cobra Strike 9 who did a 250-bit cheer. And he said, here's to hashtag charity and to you. Thank you, Cobra Strike. Shout out to Drilly11, who subscribed to the channel. Thank you, Drilly, for the sub. Framework did two different cheers. One 35-bit and another 10-bit, both for charity. Thank you, Framework. Check into the 10-bit cheer. He says, Hurricane Irma destroyed a lot of the island uh, states, so I'd suggest evacuating. Hashtag charity. Yes. Like I said... Do not ignore the warnings of those who are tracking this storm. Get the hell out if you can. Okay? Shout out to Coral Guy, who subscribed to the channel for the sixth month in a row, earning himself his Golden Crown chat badge. And he says, happy streaming today, Phil. Also, shout out to the awesome peeps in the chat. Yes. Thank you, Coral Guy, for the resub, and thanks for, uh, the, shout for uh, the shout out to everybody else. <clears throat> Thank you. To a big tone, 995, who did a 100-bit cheer. He says, have a good stream, Phil. Can't stay for today, but I'm hyped for the new Patreon goals. Hashtag charity. Thank you, big tone. Thank you to Game Master 2003, who did another 10-bit cheer. And he said, hashtag charity. Do a classic playthrough goal. Um, well, here's the thing. Right now, I'm already going to have a Patreon's Choice playthrough starting up shortly. Which, honestly, I hope is not Super Mario Sunshine, but it's looking like it's going to be. Uh, 
people don't listen to me. Um, I can't really promise another full playthrough. I, this is the hardcore gaming season. That's the problem. And during the hardcore gaming season, it's too busy to be promising you guys a full playthrough. I'm already going to be inundated with so many new games, plus the Patron's Choice playthrough. There's no way I could reasonably and realistically promise you another full game. It's just not going to happen. Um, <clears throat> so because of that, I don't want to promise something I can't live up to. And that's why I'm not doing... That's why if I could do a marathon goal of Halloween, right? Or a marathon goal of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds, that's only a day. Versus a playthrough is how many sessions, you know, over several days to weeks. And it's not, it's not going to be viable when I'm playing new games. That's why I haven't done that, okay? <clears throat> All right. And then there's a troll cheer I'm going to ignore. So very nice. All right. Thank you, everybody, for, uh, you know, being patient here. What I'm going to do now, I'm actually just going to see who's online. I believe uh, Missouri Lover said he would be online and be able to do co-op with me today. I'm not sure who else is online and able to co-op with me today. <clears throat> so we'll see. We'll see what happens, and we'll go from there. Um, and then you just go from there, I guess. And of course, Mort comes in and does a $2 tip and says, Do a charity live stream to support the victims of Irma. Mort, seriously? Yes, let me drop everything in the midst of the busiest gaming season, in the midst of a time when I need to work to keep my house. Let me stop and do my first ever charity stream. Mort, I hate to say it, you're not the brightest bulb in the pack, all right? You're just not. If I am going to ever do something charity, it will be well orchestrated. It will be something that I plan for a while and I make sure that it's going to be successful. And also that I'll be able to keep in business if I do it. Trust me, I would love to try to do something for Irma. I can't. All right? Right now, I'm trying to push this hashtag charity uh, you know, thing for cheers so we can at least get something, right? Do something nice for someone. Sorry, I'm not one of these other streamers and YouTubers who has unlimited funds and is in a good financial position and can do this stuff. I can't, all right? I'm in a position where I got to keep working and busting my ass covering the new releases so I can keep my shit, all right? So, relax. Enough with the troll shit. All right. And thank you, Golden Colts, for the 300-bit cheer. Appreciate that. All right, we're going to get started, folks. Um, thank you for being patient. I'll see who's ready here to set up for co-op, and we'll go from there. Sound good? Let me actually check my phone here, make sure everything's good here. Let's see. Looking good. All right, we're going to begin. I guess I should end the pre-stream, which I'm still recording. Oops. Okay, let's end this. 